we're going to go ahead and assume that if you're looking for factors of numbers, you're probably pretty well practiced at your times tables. You are going to need them. This is my cat Gizmo. There's only one of her, but for this explanation to work, we are going to need to clone her a few times. Now we have 12. Finding factors is all about dividing, which is essentially the same as putting things into groups. So what groups can I put my gizmos in? Obviously, without doing anything, I can put them into one group of 12. Surely, then I can also split them into 12 groups of one. Perfect. I can split them into two groups of six, just as I can split them into six groups of two. I can also make three groups, four in each, and four groups, three in each. When I get to five groups, however, I have a problem. I have two cats left to split between five groups. Short of breaking poor Gizmo up, I can't do it. Neither am I about to throw the two remaining Gizmos in the bin. We can't do it then. We can't make five groups out of our 12 Gizmos. And that's because five is not a factor of 12. One, two, three, four, six and 12 all are, as we've seen, but five is not. A factor then is any number we can divide our original number by and have a whole answer for, or if you like, a number of groups that we can make from our original number without having to break anything up or throw anything or any one away. I'll go through that quickly again with another number. This time I'm looking for factors of eight. I can have one group of eight, and therefore know I can have eight groups of one, so one and eight are factors. I can have two groups of four, so must be able to have four groups of two. So two and four are both factors. I can't make three groups, so that can't be a factor. The next number to check, if you notice, I started at one and worked my way up, is four. But I've already found that, so I know I must have found all the factors. It's time for you to have a go yourself. Here we have 10 gizmos. See if you can use them to find all the factors of 10. After that, see if you can find the factors of 16 and 24 too. There aren't pictures for this one, so you'll either have to draw out little gizmos to help, or otherwise rely on your times table knowledge to get you there. Pause the video and have a go now. The answers then. My 10 gizmos can be split into one, 10, two, and five groups. So those are my factors. No other number of groups will work. For 16, my factors are one and 16, two and eight, and four, which will times by itself to get 16. It's a square number. For 24, the factors are one and 24, two and 12, three and eight, four and six. You'll notice again that I'm listing the factors in ascending order, going up, and in their times table pairs. This helps me to know I'm not missing any out by mistake. How did you get on? If you got all that, fantastic. You are ready to move on to the HCF. You'll find out what that is in the next video. If you struggled, however, don't panic. This video isn't going anywhere and there are always teachers who will be only too pleased to help you out.